Welcome to the part 3 of the SD25PC NFC software demos. We are going to talk about the STEVAL Smart Hat 1 board. On SD.com, you can put in that uh, Smart Tag 1 or Smart Tag into the search box and it will come up with this, uh, this board right here. You can buy the board from uh, separate uh, distributors on DigiKey or Mousers. On the resource, you can see the schematics, the layout, and a lot of detailed information about this board. Basically, it's the board that has the ST25DV along with uh, temperature, humidity sensors. We also have accelerometers and barometric pressure sensors. This tag allows you to use NFC to gather data. It also can also use as a logger, a data logger with a battery. After you order your SD25 DV, the eval smart tag board, as I indicated earlier, you need to do a little shopping for the corn cell battery. Here's what you can find on Amazon. Of course, uh, you probably only need one. Sometimes you can look around the house and find all your desk and find a 3 volt CR. 2032 if not uh, you can get them on Amazon uh, quite uh, inexpensively here you can see the SD25 DV smart hub one board next to the SD25 R3911B with the battery installed on the smart tag now you can see that the the blinking of the LED of every five seconds when you first insert the battery. It shows that the board is working and is collecting data every five seconds. So now that I have my smart tag and I have the battery, insert the battery into the smart tag, then start your SD25 PC NFC software. Put the board in proximity of the SD25R3911B as you've seen on the previous uh, part and do a scan one once. Then go to demo on the smart tag you will see this uh, panel over here. Reconfiguration will show that the LED is blinking every five seconds as it should be. Now be aware that when the field, when the tag is in the field, the LED will not be blinking. It only blinks when the tag is outside of the field. But you should be able to read and write the configuration. So imagine if you were to take the board away from the NFC field you see a blinking of every five seconds. Put it back into the field. What you see here is that the microcontroller got the field detection and therefore turned the LED off because we say well, we have the updating configuration, stop data logging. Change this to one second and then update configuration. Now move the board out of the field. Now the LED should be blinking every second. In the next video, we will show you how to gather data and display them on the SD25PC NFC.